is the, the Royal Castle, one of the biggest tourist spots. So if you come here, you can have one of the best panoramas of the city. So that's why lots of locals and uh, tourists are coming. I'm uh, Regina Pop and uh, I'm the editor-in-chief of WeLoveBudapest.com which um, is basically an online portal about the Hungarian city. I think Budapest is really the city where you come and don't really know what Budapest is. Is it like a post-communist uh, capital or is it more like Western? You don't really know what to expect. I think Budapest has so many faces, like even me as a local cannot really follow sometimes. We have to get out of the city because the place where we are going is not downtown, it's a bit in the, more in the suburb. I want to take you to a special place which is um, pretty unique and I think if someone is a tourist in the city, that is a must to see. So this is uh, a flea market, it's uh, the biggest in town. If you are coming here then you're going to find a totally different culture and a totally different vibe of the city. I was talking about the basis of Budapest, well this is another phase. You have to experience it and you have to be a part of the business I think. You can really see how many things in our history for example. You can see a lot of military stuff from the Russian times but even you can see that you have a lot of nice furniture, like in the classic style and all that. It's always good to have some treasure hunting, you know, it's not just like a shop you're going in, you exactly know what you want to have from a catalogue. The only question is, that are they fake or are they really treasures? But you always find something interesting. We became a democratic country in 1989 when all the system and everything has changed. It was a big uh, political and uh, economical change. So I think Hungarian history is like very long, very interesting. We have a lot of ups and downs. So I think that's why Hungarian people sometimes are very rhapsodic because we had like very good moments and very bad ones too. We are in the 5th district, it's called the heart of the city as well because this is the most flourishing and developing part of the city right now. I think it is a pretty nice uh, neighbourhood because it's um, full up with a lot of local things. This is a local uh, chocolate shop, it's a family business and they are selling uh, handmade chocolates uh, filled with the uh, palinka, the Hungarian spirit and with some pepper, even salt and some random ingredients. So. I think it's a must to try and to take uh, home as a souvenir. That's the best thing about this part of the city. It's very downtown, but in the same time, it's a bit hidden and uh, it's pretty. It's pretty close to the main roads, but this part is 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 more like a calm and a relaxing part. So you don't have to travel out from the city. You can find your way here too. This is the Mecca for vintage clothes. It's uh, firstly second-hand and vintage uh, pieces, but uh, you can find Hungarian designers too. I think we are getting b bigger in, in fashion and um, especially young people has this need that they want to dress in, in another way, in a unique way. And this shop is just perfect for this because uh, you cannot really find two same pieces. Now we're going uh, just in front of the, uh, of the garden's gate, it's called Cendestes and uh, this is one of my favourite places. This place is pretty unique, it has the uh, feeling as a room bar. The interior was made by uh, Hungarian art students, so I think this place is full of bit freedom and creativity. For example, if you are here to write something or you need some inspiration, this is the perfect place and in the same time it's nice to have a cup of coffee or just, you know, a tea. This is the neighbourhood, I hope you pretty like it. And now, if we are talking about relaxing, I think we should uh, check out one of the greatest places in town and that's a Turkish bath called Belly Bay. We're back in Buda again and now we're gonna check out the jewellery box of this um, district. 
The bath was uh, founded by Ottomans during the Ottoman uh, invasion and uh, it was in 1574, so almost like 500 years back. This is the biggest Turkish pool in Eastern Europe and uh, how it looks like now is kind of the same as it used to be like 500 uh, years ago. Budapest is pretty famous for its thermal water, so that's why, for example, Romans called Aquincum, which is referring to aqua, one part of the city. Thermal bath is it's not just for, you know, healing and like relaxing. It's more about the gossip. It's more about where society can meet with each other. Akkor gyere, csak annyi, hogy én még itt kint hesszelk az utcán. Jó, úgyhogy lassan. Ne, kurvára ne. <laughs> I'm taking you to Simplake, which is the first room bar of the city. We had a lot of empty houses. No one was living there in anymore. Just the owner got it, but really didn't know what to do with this. And um, these houses were waiting for destroying it, actually. So there was one guy who had the brilliant idea and uh, he wanted to use the space, the house, for, um, for a nightclub reason. So he put a lot of old furniture and um, second-hand posters, Russian cars and all that wicked things in one place. And uh, you can see that now this place is a must. Hungarian people are very outgoing, so they are not the one who are, you know, sitting and sleeping uh, at home on a, on a Friday or on a Saturday night. I think if they have just like a little money, for sure they, they are going somewhere. I really hope that you enjoy Budapest and then you're gonna come back.